Okay, I have a loud voice. Is everybody here? Yeah. And if, raise your hand if you're home watching on Zoom and you can't hear. I don't think you can hear. Okay. Good. Uh, I'll, I'll just talk for a minute. Uh, first, I want to uh, also convey best wishes from a councilman who I happen to know. His name is Eric Goodwitz. He's getting back from Israel today. So uh, he had a trip, he led a trip of, of, of a delegation from the city council. So I don't know that he'll get here. I don't know how to explain this. Um, anyway, so everything changed. So first of all, it's really great to see so many of you here. We haven't seen so many people in one place here for a long time. Um, it takes a little getting used to. Everything keeps changing. I'm just getting used to the Metro card. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have those of us who drive, they also have a parking app. and. We just, I don't know, set up some account thing and uh, you connect it to your credit card. So you put money in and then it takes money out of the credit card when you've used it up. I assume that's hopefully how this will work. Um, but what the MTA is doing is really very good. It, it make, it's gonna make things a lot simpler and presumably will, everybody here will get their uh, discounts. And uh, by making things simple, things are more efficient. So, but it's a matter of getting used to new things. And as a person who still refers to uh, uh, the subway tokens, um, <laughs> I was just saying we had a meeting yesterday, and they were talking about uh, the MTA, and they were talking about what the fare is going to be. And I'm mentioning, you know, I can remember, and I'm sure, I guess everybody here can remember. I remember when the when the subway token went from 15 cents to 20 cents. And they had that strike back in night uh, when Lindsay first became mayor. Um, but things changed quickly, and the subway token doesn't even track the price of a slice of pizza as much anymore. Uh, but but this is uh, what they're going to do to replace this is really a major step forward. Uh, but we just all have to make sure we understand how to deal with it. So I want to thank you all for being here, and uh, to the future, to the car, it, it'll. I don't know how it's going to work. They're going to tell you, but <laughs> but, but it's really it's really very good. And uh, I think as we you know move, move into newer technologies, we there are tremendous benefits to all of us. So uh, enjoy the show. Who okay, gets goodbye? Thank you. My name is Megan. I'm from New Jersey Chinese Government for Lynch Beats team. I'm here with my colleague Meg Burleson to my left. Oh, my Okay, great. So we, uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to Assemblyman Jeff Dinowitz for coming by and kicking us off. I want to say thank you to the Riverdale Senior Services, Margie and Maritza for hosting us. We're really excited to be here today to talk to you all about reduced fare omni. Uh, so uh, let's let's kick this off. So before we talk about reduced fare omni and being able to switch over. Uh, we're going to talk to you about what Omni is, and Omni is the MTA's new fair payment system, which is uh, short for One Metro New York, and it is available at all, all of our subway stations and uh, all of our buses have Omni readers, and the same free transfer rules that apply to the Metro card also apply to Omni, but customers must use the same payment, the same payment system um, for each leg of the trip in order to get a free transfer. Uh, eventually, Omni will replace our legacy fare payment systems, and it's uh, including the Metro card and um, e ticks that are used on commuter rail. So for our timeline in 2019, we started our rollout with Omni launching on subways and buses, and that phase has been completed, so customers can now tap and go on all subways and buses. From 20 to 2020, from 2020 to 2022, the enhance our digital experience, which allows customers to sign up for a free account where they can access their benefits, such as card management and viewing their trip history. And these are details that we'll speak uh, to more about later in the presentation. And starting this year, we have been working to expand our fare options, which includes the reason why we're here today, which is reduced fare omni. So being able to keep your reduced fare benefit, so if you're ha paying half fare to get on subways and buses, but instead of using a card to swipe, you're going to be using uh, a device or a contactless card to tap and go. In uh, 2024, we expect to have our rollout completed. Good. 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 
Okay, so how does Omni work? So as I mentioned, it is our new fair payment system. It allows you to use a couple of options to be able to tap and go. The first is using a contactless debit or credit card, which you can see all the way to the left. And you will know that your card is a uh, contactless card by seeing whether or not it has that little um, little graphic in the corner that, that has like the little lines coming out there. In the middle, uh, you can set up your digital, wa uh, digital wallet on a smartphone or a smartwatch. Uh, and they also have the option to eventually, and I say eventually because it's not an option that's readily available now, but should you prefer to use a physical card and you are a reduced fare customer, eventually a card will be mailed to you. But the reason why we are here today is to be able to speak to you about Omni as a new fare payment system to get familiar with being able to tap and go. And if those of you are actually interested in getting acquainted with it now, you can make that switch with us today and we can show you the different ways that you'd be able to go about that. So next. So as mentioned, uh, there are a couple of benefits of being able to use Omni. Number one, right, we spoke about it already, which is a contactless form of payment. So being able to quickly get through the turnstile by tapping your device or your contactless card on the reader that's pictured here. Uh, we have online account management, which allows you, again, to manage your, um, your payment, uh, whatever card you're using to make payment or to view your trip history. Uh, there's also the feature of being able to have eventually, like I said, when we do issue cards of being able to have a more durable card because the lifespan on the physical card is a lot longer than what you're used to with the current physical Metro card. And another really great feature of being able to use Omni is a program that we have called Weekly Fair Capping, which allows customers to be able to, uh, once you hit your 12th ride, so after that, you'll be able to ride for free um, for uh, the after that, but it requires you to use the same form of payment. So you would have to use um, the same device or the same card, and it starts on a Monday. So let's say if you're traveling, getting on buses, getting on trains, Monday comes, you tap and go. Once you hit your 12th ride after that, you ride for free, and then it resets itself again the following week. So that's a feature that's available now for Omni customers and will also be available for reduced their Omni customers. And it's something that you can manage and check on if you were to sign up for your online account. So the, these are uh, graphics that display what our Omni readers look like, uh, and they're designed to give customers a very quick and, a quick and clear sense of whether or not the payment has been accepted. So on the left is what the Omni reader looks like, letting you know that it is operational and ready for use. Uh, second one indicates that you have tapped successfully, whether you are um, at a subway turnstile or getting on the front of a bus. And on the third, uh, again, is letting you know that you have tapped successfully. This is a, a picture that you would see pop up if you are getting onto the subway platform using an auto gate. And the last one will let you know that the payment has not gone through, but you will have an opportunity to tap again so that you can go through the turnstile report the bus. So I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Nick, who's going to talk to you more about why we're here today. Excellent. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can hear me on Zoom. I am talking into my microphone. Let me know if you can't hear me. So why are we here today? If Omni is going through this whole rollout, what are we doing here today? I would like to see a very quick show of hands in the room. Raise your hand if you are a reduced fare customer. Okay. Now you laughed, everybody laughed, but there were some hands that didn't go up. And that's very important because reduced fare is a great program that we run here at MTA. This went backwards. Reduced fare, if you have a card, it looks like that. It has your nice little picture there on the left-hand side, and you have the Metro card that's a white card with uh, yellow lettering, right? We all, we, most of us have that. What is reduced fare? Reduced fare is a program that we run at MTA where anybody who is over the age of 65, or if you have a qualifying disability, you are eligible for reduced fare. And instead of paying the 275 current fare, you pay $1.35. So if you are not using reduced fare, please come talk to us immediately because we would like to save you some money, okay? 
We're here today because reduced fare can now be put on Omni. My colleague Megan just went through the whole presentation talking about what Omni is, how it's going to be our new fare payment system. And now we can start putting other payment systems on it like reduced fare. If you want to switch to reduced fare Omni, so again, as Megan mentioned, you can put it on your phone right now. You can tap, you can take your phone, you can put on, reduced fare Omni on your phone. And whenever you go into a New York City subway style, when it, uh, whenever you go on the bus, you can just tap the screen and you can go. If you're interested in signing up for that, that's what we're here for today. If you wanted to do this at home, so this is particularly important for our friends on Zoom, you would go to omni.info and this is the screen that you would see. This takes you to our Omni website. In the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little box that says digital assistant. And that's what we're gonna walk through today. When you open the digital assistant, you'll see this screen right here on the left. It's a little chat box that asks you how, it says, how can I help you today? And you'll notice that the first option at the top of the screen is switch from reduced fare MetroCard to Omni. You would click that button. It will ask you to set up an Omni account. It will ask you how you wanna pay, what kind of payment system you wanna set up, what credit card, whatever you wanna use. And then it will uh, ask you for your reduced fare identification card, and it will merge everything together. Um, this is, again, we, uh, the, it's screen reader accessible. It's a streamlined process that only takes a few minutes. And we have a call center. So if you're, if you're really excited about doing this and you're having any technical difficulties, you can call our call center and somebody would be happy to walk you through this. Okay, now I'm gonna play a quick video that's just gonna summarize everything that we talked about today. We've got big news for reduced fare. Now you can sign up to tap for your subway and bus rides with reduced fare Omni. If you currently have a reduced fare MetroCard, you can link it to your own contactless credit or bank card, smartphone or wearable. Then just tap to pay half fare and get free transfers on subways and MTA buses yeah. using your own card. Or yeah, there you go. Your device means you never. Yeah, we'll start it over. We'll start it over. An extra card, and you can track your trips and payments. We've got big news for reduced fare riders. Now you can sign up to tap for your subway and bus rides with reduced fare Omni. If you currently have a reduced fare MetroCard, you can link it to your own contactless credit or bank card, smartphone or wearable. Then just tap to pay half fare and get free transfers on subways and MTA buses. Using your own card or device means you never need to load value or carry an extra card. And you can track your trips and payments online with a free, secure Omni account. If you're Ready to start tapping? Here's how. First, go to omni.info and sign up for a free Omni account. Once you verify your account, look for the digital assistant button in the lower right corner of the screen. It works on your desktop and on mobile devices. Make sure you have your reduced fare Metro card number and the number on your credit or debit card you'll use to pay for your trips. You can either use a contactless credit or debit card or any card loaded into the digital wallet on your smartphone or watch. Once in the Digital Assistant, click Switch from Reduced Fare MetroCard to Omni. Follow the instructions to log into your Omni account and connect reduced fares to the card or device you want to tap with. When you see the success screen, you're ready to start tapping. Just remember that you can only get reduced fares using one payment method. That means if you sign up for Reduced Fare Omni with your phone, you should always tap with your phone. If you tap with anything else, like a debit card, you won't get reduced fare, even if the card and your phone are linked to the same account. And if you don't want to tap with your own device or card, reloadable reduced fare Omni cards will be available in 2023. Need further assistance? Call the Omni call center from eight to five or send a request anytime at omni.info. That's everything you need to know to tap and go with reduced fare Omni. Thanks for riding with us. Okay. So that is Reduced Fare Omni. We're gonna leave this contact information up on the screen. If anybody is interested and wants to take this down, you can. Again, this has our website, omni.info. It also has the telephone number for the call center, which is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
and you can speak to anybody there if you have any technical questions or concerns. So with that, I just again want to say thank you to everybody giving us some of your time today. We're going to take the rest of the time to answer any questions that you may have. I assume that there will be a few questions, so we will be here for as long as you need us. When we are finished doing the general Q&A, if you are interested in signing up for Reduced Fair Omni right now, we will be in the room back over there with our computers, and we can walk you through the whole process if you want to do that. Okay, so with that, uh, really quickly, um, we also have some of our colleagues from MTA who are on the Zoom call. Are you able to unmute yourself and uh, say hello just in case we have any questions for you? Sure. Hi, everyone. Uh, can you hear me in the room? Yes. Well, I, they can't hear you in the back, but I can hear you. So uh, thank you. That's Rachel Cohen from Hi, System Wide Accessibility, who will be able to answer a few technical questions for us if we have any. Thank you, Rachel. Really appreciate it. So with that, we're going to uh, pass the microphone around. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do, as we said, is first, Selena, are there any questions in the chat that you want us to know about? Okay, there were three questions. Uh, one is, where's the timeline for mailing the physical Omni card to home addresses? We don't. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, we don't have a specific timeline yet, but it will come in 2023. We'll come back again when there are more details to give another presentation about it. Okay. Um, I think there's a few more questions. Would the Omni card work the same as the easy uh, pay current senior reduced fare card. The payment is deducted from my debit card now. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you could do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see where. Oh, where we're getting it. We're getting a few questions here. Uh, what is the backup if the system goes down? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. That is an excellent question. Rachel, I don't know if you have an answer to that. Um, you know, I guess it, it depends by what what you mean by the system, right? I mean, we have validators at every turnstile, uh, at every subway station now and on every bus. And, and as with our current fare control equipment, right, we're always monitoring those. Um, one of the nice things about Omni is that these validators have uh, like more real time data and communication with our back office so that, you know, if a single validator has issues, we can spot that earlier. Um, and there are, you know, many on, on a fair line in the subways. So, you know, there's normal, right? There's normal maintenance activity that will happen as with the, the MetroCard hardware today. Um, and that's something that, that we keep an eye on very closely to ensure that there aren't, you know, kind of system systemic issues that are on the horizon. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Um, we're getting quite a bit of questions. Maybe I'll just ask two Selena, questions and then we'll Selena, turn it. Selena, Selena. Yes. Selena. Um, Give us two more questions and let, then I want to go to the audience, give them a, a chance to, we'll go back and forth. Margie, you and I are on the same <laughs> wavelength here. Uh, will reloadable cards auto refill? Correct. You can set that up on the website. Okay. And the last one, can Omni be used with Accessoride? There, right now you cannot use Omni with Accessoride, but as I mentioned in my section of the presentation, we're slowly implementing new fair payment systems with Omni. Accessoride is going to come in 2023. I don't have a specific timeline on that yet, but it will be next year. Thank you. Okay. We'll turn it over to you, Margie. Yep, yeah, we're gonna take a few questions from the audience. Say your question, I'm gonna repeat it. Wonderful, I have actually two questions. We will get those cards automatically. They will come in the mail. You will get those cards automatically. Will they come in the mail? If you take no action, you will get it in the mail. If you are interested in using a, a tapping device, you can do that right now. Okay. My, my second question is, I have two cards. I have a reduced fare card and I have, thank you. I have a reduced fare card and I also have an accessorized card. They charge different. Accessorized card is free. The reduced fare is half fare. Can I maintain two Omni cards ultimately? Every Rachel, correct me if I'm wrong here, but everything will eventually be on one card. That is, that is the goal. Yeah, I mean, you will be able to basically kind of replicate what you have today, and then when Omni's fully rolled out, we'll be working to consolidate everything. So if you have access right and reduced fare, you get all those benefits on one card when the system's fully rolled out. But I don't know how does the bus know which I'm using? How will the bus know which one she's using? 
the, the your four so if you have do you have the four free rides a day from Accessoride on bus and subway yes, yes. but it doesn't it does. work on express bus but it doesn't work on express buses so where where you're eligible um the the free rides will charge first and if you kind of go through that bank of four free rides in a day you'll go to your reduced fare rides but all of that complex programming is why you know that that service isn't already out there like we have to you know we'll kind of roll out the individual programs and then work on on those issues but glad to hear you're taking so many transit rides in a day that you're uh <laughs> so we may not be able to answer every question from everyone so if we have questions that we don't get to you can always let us know and those guys will answer it yep. another question from here I'm coming. I feel like still dying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, it is, okay, I'm going to say, if you sign up for Omni now, what happens to the balance that I have on my Metro card? Right. The, the balance will remain, so you can either use it up or you can opt for a refund on that card. Once you switch over to Reduce Fair Omni, it does not automatically terminate the physical Reduce Fair Metro card that you have. It? No, it does not. It does not. So it will be a refund. You would have to request a refund or you can use up oh, the balance. Not. You can request a refund or use up the balance. Is that the answer to your question? Yeah. yeah. And once you sign up for, like if you sign up for the, the credit card, if you sign up to use the credit card, can you also use your phone or can you only use it one way at a time? You can only use one device for reduced fare. So yeah, that was uh, mentioned. Yeah, the spell's not yeah. I think. Can everybody mute themselves? We're getting some feedback here, sorry. So again, in the presentation, it, it mentioned, you, if you have reduced fare Omni on your phone, you must always use your phone as a payment. Okay, um, you've raised your hand yeah. about 11 times. <laughs> <laughs> For people that come from out of town, how do they get an Omni card? If you're from out of town, how do I get an Omni card? Yeah. Do you want to answer that? So are you, are you talking about full fare? Like a regular card, oh, yeah. Visitors yes. So, 40 millions of them. Okay, <laughs> okay, got it. Visitors come to New York. <laughs> Didn't get to you, but not yet. So Omni, like mentioned, is already out there on subways and buses. <laughs> if you want to buy an Omni card, you can do so at retail locations. There's our website, omni.info, where you can go to, and you can look up which stores uh, are selling Omni cards that you can buy and use it. If you don't want to use a physical card, it's the same concept of, of tap go using a contactless card or a device. So anyone who comes in out of town can set up um, a card that they have in a digital wallet or just use their contactless debit or credit card and tap and go. Uh, and that would be full fare. So where is a retail place? In, in the subway station? And, and a What's store? the retail place? Is there, is there a place you're going to be like, able to go to your store? There are places like pharmacies, like 7-Elevens, I believe right. is an option. CVS. Yeah. If you go to the website, you can see all of the locations. Okay, we're going to go on to another question. The other thing I just want to remind people about, I see a lot of hands, like, I get it, um, is that this is all being recorded, so it's going to be up on our YouTube site, and everyone will be able to see the entire presentation and the questions and all of that. I'm going to take two more questions from the audience. Selena, I'm giving you a heads up, and then we're going to go to Selena. Um, you, well, 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 let me pick. <laughs> you can raise your hand a bunch of times, and then I'll pick you up. Yes. So, okay, if I have a Metro card and I do nothing, will I get the new card automatically in the mail? And if, the answer is if you are a reduced fare customer, yes. If you pay the regular fare, no. Okay, good. Next year. Okay, well, the Omni card works for reduced fare buses. Express buses. Express buses. I'm sorry. Express buses. Do we have the answer to that or do we need to get back to people? Yeah, Rachel, Rachel, do you know the answer to that about the express buses? Yeah, I 
I think if if I'm hearing it right, um, the the answer is that the nothing is changing about the fare structure. So if you right. get reduced fare, you know you get reduced fare on express bus today at certain times. The same will be true in Omni. So if you switch to Omni and you ride the express bus, you know outside of rush rush hour, you could still get reduced fare. But again, the 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 policy and the amount of the fare is the same whether you're using MetroCard or Omni, as long as as Nick said, you're in the reduced fare program. So just to repeat that for anybody in the back who didn't hear, hear, the payment system will remain the same. So you would still be able to, you would tap Omni on the express bus and it would work the same way as if you used your reduced fare Metro card right now during the peak hours. Do you have a question? You had a question that was gonna go to the next Oh, so if you wanna use up the money on your reduced fare card, don't apply for the reality, right? So if you want to use up the money in your Metro card, don't use the army yet. No, you can, again, you can spend down the amount that you have on that card, or you can request a refund from the MCA at any oh. point. Yeah. Okay. And how do you request a refund? You can do it online, or if, uh, if, if uh, anybody has that issue, you could go to the senior center and we could coordinate that, okay. however, whatever works best for the individual. Okay. What, what is your question? Yeah, if, if you're just getting a card and it's not hooked up to a, to a uh, credit card or a debit card or anything, I, can you put money on it on subway station? Are you still going to have the MTA buses that come to certain locations occasionally? How do we put cash on it? That's a really important question yes. that we got yes. from a lot of people is, I don't have a credit card, I don't have a debit card, or I don't want to use them for this. How am I going to put money on this card? It, when you have an Omni card, if you're using the card, so that means you don't have it attached to a phone, you don't have it attached to a credit card, it's just a, a card, you can put cash on it. You can put cash on it at the pharmacy, as like we were talking about earlier. We're still going to have the Metro card van, as you suggested. You, you'll be able to do it at subway stations. You'll be able to fill it with cash the same way that you did your Metro card. Well, will you have automatic the way we have the Metro? automatically filled? Yes. You so, can you can set that up. Yeah. So you can have it automatically filled with a metro card. Selena, a couple of questions on your end? Uh, we have quite a bit, of course. Uh, I know. Not, here's another thing. The other thing we can say is we have to be real here. We're not going to get to everybody's questions. Right. So if you have questions that we don't get to, I will be here. Marissa's here. We're Let staying. us know what these guys are staying here. You can come over and individually ask your question. So we're going to do about another 15 minutes of questions, and then we have to kind of move on. Selena, two questions from your end. Okay. Uh, what, uh, some are similar. What what happens when you get a new phone or credit card? So what, what happens with the Omni because it's already placed into, right. so what do you do? So you get a new credit card or you get a new phone or you want to change your credit card. So that's the benefit of having the Omni account is that it allows you to manage your payment systems. So you can make that change, whether you're getting a new card or just have a personal preference to change that at, at any point. And if you're using a phone and it's a matter of having the digital wallet set up, it would be no different than setting up your new device to, to the way you want it to be used for your personal preference. Okay, Selena. Okay, can we use our existing reduced fare match cards until when? specifically um rachel feel free to chime in here but i i think that they can continue using it until metro card is phased out no you can or until your metro card expires so if you have a reduced fare metro card you know and, and and it's set to expire sometime next year um you'll either get a new metro card or you'll get an omni card before that expiration date but i would say you know follow the expiration date on on your reduced fare metro card just like you would today all right, Selena, one more question, and then we're going to take three more questions from the audience, and then I think we're going to have to close down that part of it. All right. right. Selena, uh, uh, what if you don't have an active uh, reduced fare card now? Can you still get reduced fare Omni? Can you still get reduced fare Omni if you don't have a reduced fare card you, now? You would have to apply for reduced fare, and we would encourage everybody to do that. And if uh, anybody here is interested, we could talk about it, or uh, anybody who's on Zoom, if you just go to the MTA website, uh, you can see how to apply for reduced fare right now if you wanted. And if you have a problem with that, uh, Selena's here obviously right. to help out with that. So there's, there's people that can help out in the center with that. All right, two questions from here. Anything? 
Bump, bump, bump. Okay. If I am, um, I don't, I'm the only person who happens to, but uh, okay. if you uh, lose the battery, if you run out of battery on your phone, can you have a separate card to use? Can you get a separate card to use in an emergency? Your phone runs out of juice, lose it, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll That's a good question. We don't have the answer to that. I can I can take a stab at it. I mean, you can the same way that you can only have. Rachel, can you also speak up a lot as you can when you answer? I I can try. I feel like I'm shouting <laughs> in my office. So if somebody comes by and smacks me on the head, you'll know why. Okay. Um, it's it's really the same as reduced fare metro card today. So you can only have one reduced fare metro card at a time. And if you know you leave that card at home that day or you lose it, you have to ask for a new one. So with Omni, you know, if the benefits on your phone, if it runs out of juice that day, you can have an Omni card as a backup. You know, you can get one at the Dwayne Reed wherever and, and carry that for that backup. It will carry, it won't have reduced fare though. But if you want to have a backup option, you can. You can just you can only carry the the reduced fare on a single card or device and that's you know so we can know that only one person's using it and that they're using the program fairly okay um there's a gentleman here and i saw someone over there and then we're gonna wind up okay i'm pointing to you oh, no. so cute <laughs> <laughs> i have a reduced fare card and i sign up for omni as a backup just in case I can't, right? So if somebody wants to sign up for Omni as a backup, just in case, is that okay? We had answers in the back that said no. So were they correct? That That's an interesting question. We're moving to Omni. Everything will eventually be Omni. Hmm. So our what we're here today is to encourage you to sign up for Omni whenever you are so inclined to do so. I wouldn't so I wouldn't go to Omni and then go backwards. That I, that, that would get confusing, I think. Yeah. So, like if you want to make the commitment to Omni, you make, make it. A commitment. Yeah. Relationship. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well said. I have two very quick questions. Um, if I do nothing, will I get both the fair card and my regular card next year that can be used? No, so someone hear that question? Oh, if no. you it's it's two separate. Can you repeat the question so that everyone can hear? The the question is if I'm hearing correctly, you have two cards, right? One is reduced fare, and then you have a regular metro card for when you have guests. Yes. So one is full fare, one is reduced fare. Right. If you do nothing, right, you will and you are a reduced fare customer and you do nothing today to to switch to reduced fare omni, eventually in the mail you will receive your reduced fare omni card. However, Omni as a payment system is live now on subways and buses. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, you could go and get a card, an Omni card, a physical Omni card, and load that up and you can have that ready for guests and it would be the full fare card. But you won't receive anything in the mail for full fare. We're, we're not going to mail everybody who has a Metro card. And, yeah. <laughs> so yes, it will be everything is tap and go function. Okay. Okay, the question I have a question since I'm a this became a reduced fare. Since Congratulations. I'm a reduced fare. Thank you. Um, so you, you said eventually you will get the new card. What does eventually mean? How what's how we don't we don't have exact detail in the timeline. We know the year, we know that it's 2023. Okay. It's something that as we learn more, we will be in touch with we are the community of mayor's leg of the New York City Transit team, and that's our purpose We're for being here to so let you all know when that's ready to go live. Okay, one more question here. No, no, no. I know that we have a lot of questions, but we'll be sitting here all day with questions. So I see one, two, three, four, and I got about 11 online. So we'll you guys go back. We, I understand. We will take these last hands. That's it. If nobody else raised their hand. It's done after these slides. I see you left. Yes, your question. My question is um, I have automatic copy. So if I transfer the reduced fare into Army, the automatic payment, it will be a pop up will be going on the same with my account. So will the automatic payments, if I have automatic payments now, will that continue? Automatic pop up. You would you would have to sign up for an Omni account and then it, you could set up the same system. Oh, okay. So yeah. it won't happen automatically. Your question, those questions in the back, you said, okay, my uh, Metro card is supposed to expire the end of January 2023. 
Should I just wait for them to review me with the new Omni card? Rachel, do you know the answer to that? She, is at, she says that her card is expiring on January of next year. She's asking if she should reapply for reduced fare or just go straight to Omni. So you, you should never have to reapply for reduced fare. If you're in the reduced fare program, we'll mail you a new, you know, we'll continue doing what we do today is we'll mail you a new reduced fare card when your card is close to expiration. So you should be getting a card pretty soon if you haven't already. You'll get a Metro card, right? Because we we're, we're, haven't sent out the Omni cards yet. If you decide to, you know, to switch to Omni, then you'll be in Omni and you'll be ahead of the curve. Um, but, but if not, you should get a new Metro card very soon, and then you'll get the Omni card later next year when you're when they're ready. But, you know, we're not going to leave anybody without a card in the interim. Thank you. cannot purchase a reduced fare Omni card at a pharmacy. You would have to apply for reduced fare. If you're not already a reduced fare customer, you would have to apply for reduced fare. And in the future, you would get the Omni card. Um, and that, that would be it. You would, so I have to, uh, the reduced fare Omni card will not be available until next year. Correct. Right. And it will not be available at this point in any store that you go to. Correct. Okay. Can you explain a little bit more? I don't understand the question. Can, you know what? Can we do that question separately afterwards? Okay. That's very specific to a specific. Last question. Okay. Uh, you said that we would automatically get an Omni card mail for the reduced fare card. I reduced fair metro card is my credit card, and it gets rendered automatically. So I can't. I mean, how would I send it down? It's just constantly replenishing it. Is this a question about about Easy Pay and Easy Pay replenishing? That that's right. She was she was saying that. She her red her uh, reduced fare card is connected to her credit card and it's constantly updated. Yep. So for easy, if you have Easy Pay, which it sounds like you do, um, once you switch over to Omni, whether you do that now with you know a, a credit card or a phone or later with the Omni card, uh, you can close your uh, Easy Pay account. It'll stop you know those automatic reloads and refund any remaining balance in your account. Um, and I can I can put the link in the chat where there's more information about that. Okay. But Easy Pay is actually good. We can refund the balance, you know, easily when you're all done with MetroCard, basically. Okay, so Selena, two more questions. Then we're going to end questions. But remember, these guys are saying some questions that came up with the one this lady back there just asked me to get an answer for. We'll get those answers, and we will make sure to communicate that to folks. Selena got two questions. Thank you. Good. Uh. Are Omni cards going to eventually be phased out? <laughs> Omni cards, uh, I probably <laughs> start them. I, yeah, I, I think have. those eventually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, eventually, the technology might improve, and we might move to another system. Just as we evolved from the token to the Metro card to Omni, yeah. I, I can't uh, predict the future though. So, I think that's going to be our last question. I know. <laughs> I'm ending it off. <laughs> well, a that? lot of them are, you've already provided the answer to, that's why. Right, they're going to be here. If you want to sign up now, they will help you sign up. If we want to get answers to those questions, they can. If you have other questions, can you just go on second? Guys, guys, Hello. Please, Hello. please, please. Okay, so if you have other questions, the easiest way to send those questions is to send an email to info, I-N-F-O, at rsfny.com. That's in our website. And if you get any other questions, have to and we'll have a conversation, right? So, I'll move to the next one. So, if you want to send an email, 
Can I leave this okay. All right. For those who are online, thank you so much for participating. Uh, again, there's the the um, we did have them say that you could contact Easy Pay. You could contact them directly for more questions. And again, you could contact us at info at RSSNY, and we'll try to get uh, the answers for you. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. All right. Have a good day.